And here we have Creme de Luxury's selection of the best everyday, all time, luxury, most iconic, classic and timeless bags to consider for your luxury collection. And at number one, we have the Hermes Kelly Bag. The Hermes Kelly Bag is one of the most valuable, sought after and coveted luxury bags of all time. The Hermes Kelly Bag comes with a storied history and took over 50 years before it was officially named the Kelly. First introduced in 1935, the Kelly Bag was originally called the Sacre de Peches before it was catapulted to wealth status by fashion icon, American-born actress turned Monaco princess, Grace Kelly. Grace Kelly carried the bag everywhere, and on one occasion in 1956, she was photographed innovatively using the gorgeous accessory as a camouflage to hide her growing pregnancy from paparazzi. It was the public who actually named the Sacre de Peches the Kelly bag, and it was eventually renamed the Kelly in 1977. The Kelly bag has a sculpted handle with a trapezoidal structured shape and curved edges. The Kelly also features two straps that meet over the front flap of the bag. The Kelly bag features triangular gusset sides and is made of three layers of leather. The Kelly bag opens up to a leather lined interior with a single open compartment and a zippered pocket on the rear side of the bag, in addition to two slip pockets. The Kelly is also adorned with signature hardware elements, from the clasp to the studded feet bottom and the lock and key that sits in a leather lanyard known as the clochette. The hardware is usually either gold plated or with a palladium finish. Other versions come in 24 karat plated gold or silver. Lastly, the famous gold stamp that says Hermes Paris gives the final seal. The Hermes Kelly bag is available in eight sizes with the number relating to the length of the base of the bag in centimeters. We have the Kelly 15, the Kelly 20, the Kelly 25, the Kelly 28, the Kelly 32, the Kelly 35, the Kelly 40 and the Kelly 50. The Kelly 40 and 50 tend to work better for travel. The most common size of the Kellys are the Kelly 25, the Kelly 28, the Kelly 32 and the Kelly 35. All great choices for everyday wear. The Kelly bag comes in two distinct styles, the cellier and the retourne style. The cellier construction is the older and defined with a pointed out edge that reveals a clearly visible top stitching and resin edge coating, giving the Kelly a more rigid structure. This also gives the Kelly cellier a more structured formal and ladylike look. The Kelly cellier therefore comes in levers like Epson and box leather. The retourne style has a softer, slouchier, structure as the bag is sewn and then turned inside out hiding the exterior side stitching and completed with a pipe and trim. The return is typically produced in more supple and softer leathers like the Togo and Clements leather. The Kelly Cellier is also slightly more costly than the return of the same size due to the bag shape. The prices of the Hermes Kelly bag starts at upwards of 6000 for the Kelly 20. The original Kelly is referred to as Kelly 1 and is often sold with a shoulder strap and features a single ring design. The Kelly 2 was released from the 2000 and is an update to the original Kelly. This version features a double ring at the top handle designed to attach a shoulder strap. The Kelly bag is also offered in precious skins from crocodile to ostrich and a wide and vast array of every colour under the rainbow in various shades and hues. For almost a century, the Hermes Kelly bag has become an icon, transcending fashion as a keepsake and heirloom. And at number two, we have the Hermes Birkin bag. Hermes Birkin bags are amongst the most desired items in luxury fashion industry. The Hermes Birkin is named after a cultural icon, the singer, actress and model Jane Birkin, an English actress based in France during the majority of her career. The Birkin came to existence following an exchange between Jane Birkin and former Hermes chief Jean-Louis Dumas, who met by chance on a flight from Paris to London in the early 80s. Jane explained to Dumas it was hard to find a leather weekend bag that she liked. Dumas suggested she needed one with pockets, and this sparked a conversation about her ideal bag. Dumas immediately pulled out a pencil and an airplane sick bag, and the two designed a sketch for the Birkin. Hermes officially deb debuted the now iconic Birkin bag in 1984. The Birkin bag is an elegant and beautiful bag, and features a sturdy structured boxy silhouette and precious metal hardware, typically offered in a gold, silver or palladium hardware in addition to limited editions as well. The hardware includes the zip, which features the Hermes logo engraved on both sides of the slider, in addition to the solid metal feet called the clue. The Hermes Birkin is crafted in a solid but supple leather with Hermes's signature saddle stitching. The Hermes Birkin bag features double top handles, allowing you to carry your bag in your hand or on your arms, a buckled flat top and clasp, 
a key padlock fastening with the keys enclosed in a leather lanyard known as the clochette, attached by looping it through a handle. You can lock the Birkin by closing the top flaps over the buckle loops, wrapping the buckle straps or closing the lock on the front hardware. Many Birkin carriers also tuck the flap inside the bag and buckle the straps with the lock in front to show off the Hermes Made in France stamp. The Hermes Birkin opens up to a capacious and roomy unlined leather interior with two internal pockets and an open compartment, in addition to a large zipper pocket. The Hermes Birkin comes in a range of sizes from the 25 to the 30 to the 35 to the 40, with travel bags of 50 and 55 centimetres. The Birkin comes in a variety of materials and includes hides from box calf, Clements, Epsom, Togo leathers, to precious skins like ostrich and python skin. The Birkin also comes in a variety of colours, shades and hues, from black to gold tan and olive green. The Hermes Birkin bag is the ultimate status symbol of wealth, with a starting price of upwards of £5,000 to £6,000 for the Birkin 25. The exclusiveness of the Hermes Birkin bag is steeped in celebrated history, heritage, tradition and craftsmanship. At number three, we have the Chanel 255 Chanel Reissue 255. The Chanel Reissue 255 prototype was first released in 1925. Initially made from woolen fabric, a quilted jersey material and featured a rectangular twisting lock with very short straps, which meant you could only carry it on the crook of your arm or as a clutch. Gabrielle Coco Chanel then updated and revamped the design she'd been involved in, and it wasn't until February 1955 that Coco Chanel debuted a shoulder-carried version of the bag, and the end product was called the 255 after the date and launch of the creation. The Chanel 255 was initially discontinued shortly after the release of the Chanel Classic flat due to its popularity, but later the late Karl Lagerfeld decided in 2005 to bring it back and called it the reissue 255 bag. Chanel released an exact duplicate of the original 255 to commemorate the 50th anniversary of the original 255. The reissue 255 is offered in either a gold or silver metal or chain strap. Some gold hardware versions are offered in 20 to 24 karat gold plated solid brass. The reissue 255 features a burgundy coloured lining embroidered with Chanel's CC initials and a Chanel stamp logo on the inside, in addition to the Made in France or Made in Italy caption on the inside, usually identical to the colour of the metal used in the particular model's production. The Chanel Reissue 255 has a square and rectangular shaped silhouette with a flat front that features a twist lock closure mechanism. The front lock in this Chanel style is called the Mademoiselle lock. The bag also features diamond or chevron quilted pattern stitching for durability. Traditionally, the 255 features double flaps, which means they have both the exterior flap closure and an interior flap compartment under the top flap. The Chanel Reissue 255 opens up to a main leather lined interior and has an outer flap pocket, and inside there are two flap pockets, one small pocket for smaller items like lipstick, and at the exterior of the bag there is a slip pocket. In addition to zippered compartments at the inside of the front flap, ideal for storing love letters, which Coco Chanel is rumoured to have done with her own 255 bag. The reissue 255 is usually crafted in two leather options, aged calfskin, leather or caviar leather. Chanel's aged calfskin is less likely to show scratches or marks. It has a fairly soft yet durable texture that holds up its shape for several years. Since the debut of the reissue 255, there has been several variations and it has been reimagined and revitalised in different colours, leathers and fabric combinations. The Chanel reissue is available in an array of classic colours from black, grey and white to primary colours like red and blue and more. The reissue 255 is available in five sizes, the 224, the 225, the 226, the 227 and the 228, with the 228 come discontinued. The 224 is the small size, the 225 is the medium, the 226 is the large size and the 227 is the jumbo size. Although the name reissue only applied to the commemorative handbags, it is now used as a name for all the handbags that look like the original reissue 255. The Chanel reissue 255 holds the history and longevity of a true icon. The bag is not only the most iconic bag from the fashion house, but is also one of the most iconic handbags in the fashion world as a pioneer. And at number four, we have the Louis Vuitton Armour Bag. Created in 1934 by Gaston Louis Vuitton, the Louis Vuitton Armour Bag was actually rumoured to be a custom-made bag at the request of Gabrielle Chanel. But it wasn't until years later that Coco Chanel gave her permission to manufacture the bag for general consumption of all fashionistas. The Armour is a practical and compact trapezoidal bag 
with a long base evolved from the Louis Vuitton streamer bag. Although the Alma is now one of the most recognisable handbags in the world, it has taken several decades for this model to evolve. It was first redesigned in 1950s and called the name Sac Marceau. It was then redesigned to be more compact and modernised for everyday use and renamed the Squire Bag. An additional year, few years later, it was renamed the Sac Champ Elise. Yet again, the bag model reappeared in 1992 with an updated and revitalised design and slimmer profile, decked out in Louis Vuitton's signature monogram canvas and given, name, given the name Alma, a tribute to Place the Alma, a landmark spot in the tree-lined square in Paris, where the Avenue Montaigne meets the Seine in the Paris high fashion district. The Alma bag is a capacious and functional bag with a wide opening. The Alma bag opens up to an interior lines with microfiber with two inside compartments. The armor also features many elements of gold hardware, including the sturdy studs at the bottom of the bag and zippers. Since 1992, the armor has appeared in different finishes, fabrics and colors, adding to the appeal of the armor. A sleek and chic bag, sophisticated enough to elevate any outfit. The armor is offered in a variety of colors, prints, graphics and limited edition designs too. The armor is available in different materials from the classic monogram canvas to the monogram venice and epi leather. The Louis Vuitton Alma bag's price ranges from as little as £950 to over £3,000 for the exotic leathers and limited edition bags. The Alma is available in five sizes that suit and serve different purposes in different fashionistas. The Alma comes in sizes from the Nano, BB, PM, MM and GM. The BB meaning ban Beba Bandelier, which is French for baby shoulder. The BB version has a detachable shoulder strap, which means fashionistas now have a bag with even more utility and versatility. The PM size stands for Petite Model in French, meaning small model. The MM stands for Medium Model, Moyenne Model. The size along with the PM are the most popular size. The Grand Model, the GM size, is the largest size, a popular size for travel. The Alma is a lovely, sophisticated bag that is timeless and classic. And at number five, we have Dior Lady Dior bag. Since its debut, the Lady Dior handbag has never stopped turning heads. The Lady Dior bag is un undeniably a classic bag, a bag fit for a princess. This iconic bag was actually endorsed and elevated by the style and elegance of a real-life princess and became one of the favourite chosen accompanying bags of one of the world's most adored princesses. The original Lady Dior bag was debuted in 1994 under the creative director of Gianfranco Fur. The elegant bag was yet to be named and was officially called the Shushu, a French term of endearment which in English means favourite. Bernadette Chirac, France's former first lady, is said to have asked the world-renowned Dior to make a special item for Princess Diana for her visit to France, as she wished to give her a unique gift for the occasion as a token of French culture. The house offered her the chouchou, and it was created in leather for the first time and completed from start to finish in record time in a single night. The bag was presented to the princess at the inauguration of the Paul Cézanne exhibition at the Grand Palais in Paris. And Diana absolutely loved it from its first appearance and from that moment onwards. The Lady Dior made history and was catapulted to iconic bag status. The larger series was officially launched in 1996, paying homage to Princess Diana, when the Dior fashion house officially changed the name of the Shushu to the Lady Dior bag. The Lady Dior bag is one of the cornerstones of the Dior fashion house and imbues all the Dior house curls with its classic timeless design and luxurious elegant silhouettes the Lady Dior is boxy and squarey with a rigid silhouette and features two structured arch top handles, logo charms adorned with a decorative, sparkling metal charm jewellery, each charm making up the four letters of the name Dior hanging from the handles. The hardware and the metallic charms is usually offered in gold or silver tone, which adds to the brilliance of the iconic bag. Limited edition includes champagne hardware or a light blend of pale gold. The hardware zippers and plaque also carries the initials of Monsieur Dior. The bag also comes with protective studded feet. The Lady Dior is also adorned with Dior House's signature canage motif. The canage pattern inspired by Napoleon's the third shares used by Christian Dior to welcome his clientele into his atelier at his first show in 1947. The Lady Dior bag has been reimagined and revitalised countless times. The Lady Dior bag is now available in five different sizes, ranging from the Lady Dior Micro, the Lady Dior Mini, which was introduced in 2015, the Lady Dior Medium, the Lady Dior Large and the Large Dior Lady Shopping Tote. This making the bag versatile, giving you more options to carry the bag over the shoulder as a crossbody as well as in your arm. In essence, the Lady Dior bag has not changed over the years, but each season it is revitalised in different types of leather materials, from soft cast skin, sheep skin to delicate embroidery and luxurious velvet, in addition to microfiber, satin, denim and precious skins like python and crocodile. The Lady Dior bag is also available in a vast array of colours, standard, classic and pastel colours also. There are also buy and tri coloured versions in addition to the limited editions. With a few amendments and updates, the Lady Dior still remains one of the true classic and iconics from Dior. 
synonymous with style, elegance and beauty. The Lady Dior is rich in history and heritage. And at number six, we have the Louis Vuitton Speedy. When introduced, the Speedy was an instant success. But before the Speedy came into existence, its precursor was the Keepal. George Vuitton invented the signature Keepal as the perfect travel companion as an overnight weekend bag. The Keepal model was so popular that soon after a smaller version, under the name, the Express was created. The Express was a pure travel accessory, designed from a personal effect, so that travellers could keep their travel essentials close. The Express was then adapted once again to meet the demands of the busy women of the time. With that, in 1932, the Express was referred to and renamed to the Speedy. A year after its debut, Louis Vuitton reintroduced the Speedy in the monogram canvas. Even though the Speedy bag continued to grow in popularity, it can be argued that it did not become the timeless iconic bag it is today until Audrey Hepburn was seen carrying one in the 1960s. The actress requested Louis Vuitton create a custom Speedy model that was smaller than the original 30. Louis Vuitton obliged and created a smaller version of the Louis Vuitton Speedy, the Speedy 25. When the Speedy 25 of Audrey Hepburn was introduced, the demand for the Speedy soared and its fate was sealed. The Speedy is now available in five different sizes, with the number referring to the width of the base of the bag. There is the Nano, the Audrey Hepburn Speedy 25, the original 30, the 35 and the 40. The Nano Speedy was originally referred to as the Mini until 2019 and also features a non-detachable crossbody strap. The Speedy 25 is a popular size due to its practical nature but is not oversized. The Speedy 30 is a compact handbag ideal for everyday use and perfect for carrying all your essential larger items. The Speedy 35 works well as a bag for more than your essentials and the Speedy 40 is the largest size and a good option as a small weekend or travel bag. The Speedy bag is one of the most unique Louis Vuitton bags that is made from one large piece of fabric from front to back when designed with the monogram canvas. As a result there are no seams on the bottom of the bag and the back of the bag features the LV monogram logo upside down. The silhouette of the Louis Vuitton Speedy is inspired by the Boston bag, a slightly dome-shaped bag. The Speedy is commonly crafted in the sturdy monogram structured waterproof tear and scratch resistant canvas with a natural vachetta trim on the double torrent top handles in addition to the piping and the tapers of the bag from the rectangular bottom. The vachetta leather, being an untreated premium cowhide leather, will receive a full patina and darken with frequent use. The Speedy opens up to an interior material made of canvas or microfiber with one large main compartment without dividers, making the bag extremely versatile for every use. Each Speedy bag is also adorned with brass hardware. The Speedy is typically available in the monogram canvas, the Demier Ebene, the Demier Azure print and the Epi leather. Over the years, the Speedy has become available in several more materials, including the Nomad leather, the black multicolour, the white multicolour and the monogram on Priom leather. In addition to limited editions, the Speedy got a small transformation with the introduction of a large shoulder strap with the Speedy bandolier. The bandolier meaning with a strap in French as the perfect option for the modern woman needing a bag offering hands-free usage. In 2015, Louis Vuitton decided to redesign the Speedy monogram, updating it to align with modern use. Now on some Speedy bags, there is an interior zipper pocket and a redesigned handle base chap. The price of the classic canvas monogram Speedy starts at upwards of £1,000. The Louis Vuitton Speedy has endured the test of time and trends to remain one of the most iconic bags in fashion history. And at number seven, we have the Chanel Classic Flat. From the expert craftsmanship to the beautiful and rich history behind this bag, the Chanel Classic Flat is most definitely a classic and timeless forever bag. The story of the Chanel Classic Flat bag is rooted in the creation of the Chanel 255 bag. The original 255 had been redesigned multiple times over the years, but the most significant adaptation was created by the late Karl Lagerfeld in 1983. He introduced a new version of the 255 called the Chanel Classic Flat, also known as the 1112. Lagerfeld made a few changes to the 255 to make the elegant and timeless Chanel Classic Flat, updating the bag with a few distinctive features. Innovatively changing the classic square twisting lock of the 255 known as the Mademoiselle lock to the iconic interlocking CC lock clasp hardware. One of the main characteristic differences between the 255 and the Chanel Classic flap. Staying true to the original while showcasing its own sophisticated flair signature. Currently, the most common colours in the hardware are silver gold, light gold and so black hardware edition. The Chanel Classic Flat also features an interwoven shoulder strap of both leather and metal hardware, another distinctive feature that separates it from the 255. 
the Chanel Classic flap also comes in two variations, a double or single flap. The single flap version only consists of the main exterior flap. The double flap encompasses an extra interior flap that can be detached from the interior and separates it from the main exterior flap. The Chanel Classic flap also features several pockets, seven compartments making it very practical. There is the curved rear pocket, actually nicknamed the Mona Lisa Smile, one flat front pocket, two interior gutted pockets with a little pocket in the middle designed to hold smaller items, one concealed pocket between the double flap and the inner flap and the zippered pocket otherwise known as the secret pocket. The Chanel Classic flap features the signature burgundy leather on the interior with the embroidered CC initials inside and the Made in France stamp. The Chanel Classic flap is typically available in two leather skins, the sample lamb skin as well as the caviar leather, recognisable by its unique texture which is treated grain calf skin made to resist water, whilst the lamb skin is known for its buttery smooth finish and delicate nature. In addition, the leathers are available in two quilting styles, the classic diamond quilting and the chevron quilting. Both of these classic flaps are available in a fast and great variety of colours. The Chanel Classic flap is available in a plethora of sizes, from the mini square to the mini rectangle to the small, the medium, the large jumbo and the maxi, with the medium remaining arguably one of the most popular size options. Chanel also sometimes do limited editions to honour and celebrate special collections which can offer different hardware options like iridescent metals. The cost of the Chanel Classic flap can vary depending on the leather type, colour or size and more exotic and uncommon leathers command a higher premium. Prices of the Chanel Classic flap start at upwards of £4,500 for the small. The Classic flap is a versatile and elegant transition bag, easily taking you from day to night and can be worn over the shoulders, on the arms or held in your arm, hands as a crossbody. The Classic flap is a bag that has stood the test of time and fashion. And at number 8 we have the Fendi Peekaboo bag. The Fendi Peekaboo bag debuted on the runway for the Spring Summer 2009 collection and was created by Sylvia Venturini Fendi the granddaughter of Adele and Eduardo Fendi, who is credited with designing and launching one of Fendi's most timeless and iconic bags. The Fendi Peekaboo bag was envisioned as a timeless heirloom, a classic that can be passed on to the next generation. Fendi has imagined and revitalised the Fendi Peekaboo season after season, solidifying its appeal to women from all generations. Famed for its iconic design, the Peekaboo bag takes its name from the popular children's game Hide and Seek, and also gets its name from its unusual construction where the two internal compartment halves are divided in the middle by a rigid partition by a metal bar. This creates a front flap that can be pushed down to reveal the central partition and the artistry of the bag inside. This gives the peekaboo an element of surprise as it gives you a peek revealing the interior with the engraved Fendi logo plate. The Fendi peekaboo is a sleek, classic and timeless design. The peekaboo is crafted from a smooth or grained calfskin leather and opens up to a napper leather lined interior with two big spacious compartments, an inner zipper pocket and elements of gold hardware, including the twist lock on the front and the back of the bag to keep it securely fastened, in addition to the metal stud feet to protect the base. The Fendi peekaboo bag is a versatile bag that features a single top handle and an adjustable detachable shoulder strap in the micro and mini size, which means it can be either carried by hand or worn over the shoulder or as a crossbody. The Fendi peekaboo has been released in various fabrics, leathers and materials, from supple veal skin to snake skin and raffia suede corduroy leather and canvas. From sophisticated black patent leathers to the classic red and blue ones, the Fendi peekaboo is available in more than 1,000 materials and an unlimited colour palette. The popularity of the Fendi Peekaboo bag has produced a foray of sizes, from the large to the regular to the mini and the micro, and even as a men's accessory item. The micro is the smallest size suitable for all your essentials on a night out. The mini and the regular are ideal as everyday bags. The large size is the biggest and perfect for any busy woman on the go, ideal for any professional work settings and all your everyday work items. The Fendi Peekaboo also consists of a collection, including the Fendi Peekaboo Celeria, a simple and structured version of the Peekaboo. Also available is the higher end Peekaboo Essential and the Peekaboo Essentially, a smaller sized essential. Lastly, there is the Peekaboo I See You bag, also a spin off that is inspired by the children's game Peekaboo I See You. One of the most distinctive features of the Peekaboo I See You are the customizable and interior pockets, which are also removable and interchangeable into smooth leathers or precious skin. The Peekaboo I See You bag is a fresh take on the iconic Peekaboo and is the most playful yet perfect for fashionistas looking for a more personalised option. Available in three sizes including the medium, east, west and the pochette. The peekaboo is a simple, complex and timeless bag. The appeal lies in its understated sophistication and elegance, with a discreet if you know you know appeal as it's not loud or embossed with any logos. The peekaboo is a testament to the bag's timeless look and Fendi's quality craftsmanship has proven to stand the test of time. And at number 9 we have the Delvo Le Brillion bag. 
Le Brillant Bag was created in 1958 as part of Delvaux's collection for when Brussels hosted the World Fair, said to be inspired by the Philips Pavilion, a remarkable structure designed by the office of Le Cabousier by Swiss French architect Charles Eduardo Genere, with the building fittingly named Le Brillant. Elegant and sophisticated, the beautiful Brillant Bag has won over hearts of the elites and socialites for more than six decades. Le Brillant is a true masterpiece and available in at least seven different sizes, starting from the Brillant charms that measure at 8.5 cm, the Mini, the PM, the MM, more for everyday use, and the large GM. There is also the East-West that comes in two sizes, with an East-West Mini Brillant and a regular East-West Brillant, as well as the double handle Brillant, not widely available, and the Brillant Black Edition that spans 36 cm. Most sizes are offered with an additional adjustable and removable shoulder strap, which gives the bag multi-purpose carrying options. Le Brillant bag is commonly available in boxcar to cellier leathers, with different leathers giving Le Brillant a very different aesthetic and allure. The boxcar and the pression skin gives the Brillant bag a highly sophisticated look, while more supple hides such as the Rodeo and Crispy Car gives it a softer appearance. The exotic skins offered include skins like alligator, lizard and ostrich skin. You can also have the bag custom made with a combination of exotic skins too. Le Brillant is also available in a wide array of colours, from your standard black and white to the more rich and unusual colours, with more shades and hues introduced each year. Le Brillant is also available in a matte, shiny or metallic finish. The price of Le Brillant starts from upwards of £800 for the Brillant Charms to a few thousand pounds for the Brillant GM size. The Brillant bag is a sturdy bag with a trapezoidal structured shaped silhouette and features a single rolled top handle and a top flap with a D-shaped buckle closure. The Brillant bag always features the signature D-shaped buckle no matter the pattern or material. The signature buckle remains the same. The buckle fastener system is one of a kind and it can be also offered with embellished pearls, crystals, two-tone or monochrome metallic finishes. The Brillant buckle can transform with every collection. The Brillant bag opens up to an interior lined with smooth leather and one compartment with zip pockets, slip pockets and keyring holder. The Brillant bag has spawned many limited editions like the Maxi Brillant Bag Edition and the Le Brillant Diva Bag available in red and or black adorned with specially made gold buckles and hinge frame. There's also the Brillant Magic Rainbow Bag which features a leather structure design that opens up to reveal an interior of accordion pockets in an array of colours from lilac, nude and citron. Other Brillant limited editions include the miniaturised Little Bitty Brillant series and the miniature Beltitude a collection of seven miniature versions of Le Brillant bags paying tribute to the international cities that Delvo calls home, like Anvers, Bruges, and Gond. And there are other limited editions paying homage to the countries around the world, showcasing cultural gems celebrating Korea, Italy, Japan, the US, the UK, and France. The Brillant bag is a perfect finishing touch to every outfit, a beautiful bag for all seasons. From the classic to the fanciful, the Brillant bag has been reimagined multiple times but still exudes the sophistication and elegance with the unique Delvo savoir faire and superior mastery that makes it highly desired and confetted for those looking for stealth luxury pieces. And at number 10, we have the Gucci Bamboo Bag. One of the world's very first it bags can be arguably said to be the Gucci Bamboo Bag. Few bags are as recognisable and as creative as the curved, semicircular handle of the famous Gucci Bamboo Bag, which helps catapult Gucci to worldwide recognition. The famous Gucci Bamboo bag was designed and released in 1947 in select Gucci boutiques. Wartime rations created material shortages in 1947 impacting the fashion industry, including Gucci, due to the fact that the materials to create bags were limited. However, Gucci artisans found an innovative solution and created a new bag design that could be produced despite the embargoes. They came up with the brilliant idea to incorporate bamboo into their handbags. Gucci found and used bamboo which was extremely durable and easily imported from Japan to craft their luxury handbags. The usage of bamboo was also reduced the amount of leather to make the bag and the cost. The bamboo handles were synonymous with Gucci from the 1940s onwards, and the iconic design is an example of the out of the box thinking from Gucci artisans. The Gucci bamboo bag's wooden handle and clasp was an exotic and unusual element of the luxury industry at the time. All bamboo handles are still handcrafted by trained artisans in the Gucci ateliers using an intricate process. Due to this meticulous process, no two bamboo handles is ever the same. The distinctive and sophisticated design of the Gucci bamboo bag caught the attention of many socialites and was an instant hit during the 1950s and 60s. It became a favourite for celebrities and royalty alike. The handle is then attached to the top of the leather frame and body of the small structured rounded Gucci bag. The Gucci bamboo bag is crafted from calfskin leather, formerly pigskin, and the Gucci bamboo bag opens up to a fabric lined interior with one compartment and two inner pockets. The Gucci bamboo bag comes in a variety of colours, shades and hoods. 
and is available in three sizes, a mini, small and a medium. The Gucci bamboo bag comes with a starting price of just over £2,200 for the mini. More than several decades after the conception of the Gucci bamboo bag, it has managed to survive passing fashion fads and trends. The Gucci bamboo bag is the fashion house's cornerstone design and still remains a favourite today as an essential part of the identity of the Gucci fashion house that will forever leave a distinguished legacy in the brand. And at number 11, we have the Hermes Constance. In 1959, Hermes employed a designer by the name of Catherine Chaillet, who gave birth to a girl by the name of Constance. To honour this momentous event, Catherine decided to name one of her handbag designs after her child. The first Constance left the Hermes production line to the stores on the day of the birth of Catherine's child. The Constance immediately gained popularity through the endorsement of former First Lady Jackie Kennedy, who favoured the Hermes Constance bag. The Constance is an architecturally inspired bag, classic in appeal but still contemporary in design. The Constance is an appealing and functional bag with a sleek, sturdy, structured, boxy silhouette, in addition to rounded corners, and an adjustable strap which slides through its two hefts made with palladium, gold or silver hardware. The shoulder strap is ingeniously looped, so you can wear it either long or short, making the bag versatile, as it allows you to wear it over the shoulder or as a crossbody too. The Hermes Constance opens up to an interior made of lambskin lining, with an option of one or two generous gussets, which is an essential part of the Constance design, as it supports its rigid and slim silhouette and helps the bag retain its shape without sagging over time. Each of the sizes of the Constance bag, except the micro, has an offering of a single gusset or a double gusset, meaning the interior will have one single compartment or two separate compartments. The interior also features a combination of zipper and slip pockets or only slip pockets. The smaller Hermes Constance has two slip pockets on the front and the rear side of the bag. The bigger Hermes Constance has a slip pocket on the front and a zipped pocket at the rear. The most striking element of the Hermes Constance is the iconic piece de resistance H buckle fastener, which grabs your attention, exhibiting perfect symmetry and balance on the Hermes Constance. The contours of the H-shaped clasp curves gently into the cutouts of the front flap. The H hardware is either offered in a gold, silver or liqueur and can also be offered set in diamonds, enameled or inlaid with a marquetry of precious stones. The Constance opens and closes with the aid of a spring-loaded mechanism concealed on each side of the bar fixed to the flap. The H is placed firmly centred with an intersecting horizontal bar. The Hermes Constance is available in the following sizes. The micro 14 cm, the mini 18 cm, the 24 cm and a wider, narrower version called the Elan. The Elan is the latest version which was introduced in 2010 by Hermes. The sizes 23, 25 and 29 in the Constance have now been discontinued. The Elan is slightly longer and narrower and more rectangular compared to the other three sizes. Prices for the Hermes Constance start from upwards of £4,700. The Hermes Constance incorporates Hermes's classical design and can effortlessly match any outfit and is definitely suitable for any occasion. The Hermes Constance is available in various materials like box calf skin and other exotic materials like crocodile and ostrich skins. The Hermes Constance is a bag that has endured the test of time, modern yet classic, functional and versatile, chic and effortless. The Constance is a great investment. And at number 12, we have the Louis Vuitton Capucins. The Louis Vuitton Capucins is one of the most highly desired and sought after Louis Vuitton bags. Launched in 2013, it was quite a departure from the signature Louis Vuitton monogrammed canvas designs, typical of the Louis Vuitton fashion house. Yet the Capucins is the ultimate exemplar of Louis Vuitton's savoir-faire in leather handbag making which has always been a part of Louis Vuitton's DNA. The name of the Capucins pays homage to the location of the first ever Louis Vuitton boutique and workshop opened in 1854 in Paris near Place Vendôme on a small street at Rue Nueve des Capucins, later renamed Rue des Capucins. The Capucin is available in a wide variety of material leather and precious skins. Leathers including full grain Tourillon leather, smooth calf leather, lambskin leather and precious skins 
like crocodile, ostrich, python and lizard skin. The Capucins is available in an array of beautiful colours, shades and a variety of tones, including your classic colours like black and white, seasonal colours like electric blue, jade green, cobalt and fuchsia. In addition to vibrant bi and tri-coloured combination styles and other offerings with contrasting interior colours. Seasonal offerings experiment with hues and patterns and even innovative embellishments with leather pearls. There is definitely plenty of option to suit every style preference. Louis Vuitton also have limited edition collections, one particularly called the Arti Capucins collection, where they have collaborated with the world's top contemporary artists who are giving carte blanche to reimagine the iconic Capucins according to their vision and distinctive styles. The Louis Vuitton Capucin features the signature LV initials, enclosed in leather and inserted into claws set into the grain of the leather. The LV initials can be hidden by the tuck of the flap for a more subtle aesthetic, with the reversible side showcasing the LV quatrefoil petal in the cutout flap, resembling LV's iconic monogram flower when the LV initials are hidden. The capucin features a slightly rigid detached top handle, secured by the shiny jewellery-like engraved rivet rings that connect the handle to the bag, and also pays homage to LV's trunk-making history. The Capucins features a slightly boxy structure but with a soft trapezoidal shaped silhouette and opens up to a calfskin or canvas lined interior and to two spacious main compartments, one flat and one zippered pocket in addition to elements of metal hardware detailing all over the Capucins including the protective hardware feet. The Capucins also come with a detachable strap making it versatile so you can wear the Capucins across the body or in hand. The Capucins was originally launched in the GM and MM sizes, but due to its popularity, it was also released in the Mini, BB and PM. The Mini, BB and PM size is ideal for daily use and transitioning to a lovely evening bag for your carrying smaller items and essentials. The Capucins BB has a zipper pocket internally for important items too. The PM size also features a handy zip compartment at the back. The MM size is much larger and can fit a lot more inside and instead of the zippered pocket at the back, it has the centre between the two main compartments featuring an open pocket to the back of the bag. The GM size was the workhorse of the Capucins, however it has been discontinued. The Capucins is a perfect everyday bag to accentuate your outfit, making it more sophisticated, elegant and refined. The prices of the Louis Vuitton Capucins differ by size and materials, with prices starting at upwards of £4,200 for the Mini. The Capucins is a classic piece worth the investment, loved by women looking for something timeless and elegant. And at number 13 we have the Chanel Trendy CC. Launched in Chanel's Spring 2014 collection, the Chanel Trendy CC handbag is another one of Chanel's most desired bags. When initially released, the Trendy was thought of as a woman's working alternative to the classic flat, functional yet stylish, and the bag was an instant hit. The shape and silhouette of the Trendy CC is said to be reminiscent of that of the Hermes Kelly, but it is the Trendy CC's distinctive feature that distinguishes it from other classics. The Trendy CC is adorned with an instantly recognisable metal bar plate under the handle, with the Chanel script boldly emblazoned across it. The hardware differs depending on the model and is offered in either a gold, silver, ruthenium, can also be enamelled and has also offerings in a black hardware for the more daring fashionistas. The Chanel 20cc is crafted in Chanel's signature soft lambskin, which has a soft buttery texture, adding to its rich and luxurious aesthetic. The 20cc also features Chanel's signature diamond quilting or chevron quilting and the signature interlocked CC clasp on the front flap. The Chanel 20cc features a soft structured silhouette shape and opens up to a leather lined interior and an accordion style gusseted compartments which makes the trendy CC spacious and roomy with multiple compartments and inner sections with slip and zip pockets to store all your belongings in addition to an inner section in the inside flap and small open pockets and an additional back pocket on the exterior of the bag the first compartment is quite large with three smaller pockets the centre compartment is also large and empty and the last compartment is the smallest but also comes with a zippered pocket. The Trendy CC also features a sturdy top handle 
and the interwoven leather and chain shoulder strap to make the bag comfortable to carry all day. The shoulder strap used to be removable, but Chanel removed this feature by introducing bigger metal studs at the end of the shoulder chain strap. Every season since its production, the Chanel Trendy CC has featured in the Chanel handbag collection lineup. Chanel releases a handful of Trendy CCs, making it harder to get your hands on compared to other Chanel stars. The Trendy CC is available in an array of colours, from classic colours and primary colours to every colour under the rainbow, in addition to pastel colours too. The Trendy CC bag has quickly moved up the Chanel ranks and is one of the most coveted bags that Chanel has to offer. The Trendy CC comes in three sizes, a small, medium and a large. The small size being the most popular size as an everyday bag. The medium holds more items and the Trendy CC large is a perfect work bag, easily containing all your work essentials. The Trendy CC is a functional, practical and easy to use bag as an everyday companion. The price of the Chanel Trendy CC starts at upwards of £5,000. A timeless, sophisticated, classic bag it is definitely one to consider for your luxury collection. And at number 14, we have the Chanel Coco Handle. Named after Gabrielle Coco Chanel, the Coco Handle was first introduced in Chanel's Full Winter 2015 collection. The Coco Handle has a more trapezoidal structured silhouette and features a top handle with a distinctive front flap. The Coco Handle was originally a seasonal bag that first became a staple Chanel classic. The Chanel Coco Handle is another bag said to be a cross between the classic flap and the Hermes Kelly and is sometimes called the flap bag with handle. The Chanel Coco Handle bag imbues all the signature Chanel house codes, including the diamond and chevron quilting styles, the interlocking CC logo with the twist clasp, the interwoven leather and chain strap, in addition to the signature Mona Lisa pocket on the exterior of the bag. Although featuring many similarities to the Chanel Classic Flap, the Chanel Coco Handle still stands its ground amongst the other popular Chanel handbag designs. The Chanel Coco Handle bag is a perfect transitional bag from day to evening. The Chanel Coco Handle comes in four sizes, a mini, small, medium and large. The medium and large are the most popular sizes that can see you through your day. As the Coco Handle bag also comes with a long chain and a single roll top handle, it gives the bag multi-purpose carrying options. Some options also offer a detachable chain strap across all sizes and models. The Chanel Coco Handle bag is available in an array of leathers and materials and is commonly offered in a grained calfskin caviar leather, which is durable and scratch proof too. And also offered in the smooth lambskin, which has a nice shiny sheen, adding to the luxurious aesthetic of the bag. And the Coco Handle is also offered seasonally in tweed, velvet and other materials too. The Chanel Coco Handle is available in numerous colours, including black, primary colours, all colours under the rainbow, pastels and pattern combinations. The hardware element of the Coco Handle is typically offered in either gold tone, silver or liqueured metal. The prices of the Chanel Coco Handle start at upwards of, of 3500 depending on the combination of materials, fabric and hardware. The Chanel Coco Handle bag opens up to a fabric lined interior, two compartments separated by either a zippered pocket for the medium and large sizes or a slip pocket in the small sizes. The Chanel Coco handle in a small features a flat pocket at the back of the bag, in addition to the signature three slip pockets with the centre pocket on the front side of the bag. The small Chanel Coco handle is the most popular size, small enough for all your daily essentials. The Chanel Coco handle bag has been such a success and an icon in its own right that is now offered every season. The Chanel Coco Handle is a practical and functional fashion forward bag that will complement any wardrobe. The Chanel Coco Handle is truly a timeless piece that will never go out of style and no luxury Chanel handbag collection is complete without it. And at number 15 we have the Celine Luggage Tote. The Celine Luggage Tote is one of the most iconic bags offered by the Celine Fashion House. Debuted in 2010 under the then creative director Phoebe Philo, its popularity only surged after a relaunch of the bag, which was then spotted on the arms of celebrities including the Olsen twins. This quickly created a media frenzy and shortly after, the bag was selling out in stores and online. The Celine Luggage Tote bag is a timeless functional classic bag, often referred to as the Smile Bag. The Celine Luggage Tote bag features a large squarish bottom 
and a slightly structured squarish silhouette body with gusset style side flaps that can be extended to create wing sides making the luggage tote bigger and more practical. The silly luggage tote bag features double top handles with a zip top opening and an exterior zip pocket in addition to the signature wave leather piping detail on the front of the bag. The Celine luggage tote also comprises of elements of metal tone hardware including the protective feet. Hardware is commonly offered in a aged silver or gold tone hardware. The Celine luggage tote opens up to a leather or suede line interior. One roomy main compartment with an inner flat pocket and comes with an accompanying detachable shoulder strap making it a versatile bag with multi-purpose carrying options. The Celine luggage tote is so popular that it has been released in numerous sizes from the Nano, Micro, Mini, Medium, Large, with the latter two said to be discontinued. The Celine luggage tote is crafted in a vast array of different materials, including leather, exotic and precious skins and different fabrics. Leather options range from smooth and grainy calf leather, and precious skin offerings include crocodile and python, with fabric offering in textile and linen. The Celine Luggage Tote is available in many different colours, from your classic and primary solid colours to offerings in a bicolour and tricolour combination. The iconic Celine Luggage Tote is the perfect daily accompanying accessory, functional, practical and fashion forward. The Celine Luggage Tote hits all the right boxes with its almost logo-free, unique and instantly recognisable iconic silhouette that adds to the alluring charm of the bag. The only logo detail is a small embossed Celine Paris on the front at the top near the handles. The Celine Luggage Tote's timeless and classic design transcends time and fashion trends. Each season, Celine releases new variations, but its minimalistic appearance remains forever. Celine has an effortless, chic aesthetics with an if you know you know appeal, and the Celine Luggage Tote exudes all these Celine attributes. And at number 16, we have the Prada Galleria bag. Combining quality with classic designs is a Prada specialism. With the Prada Galleria being the timeless, classic and most recognisable piece that epitomises this. Rooted in Prada tradition, the Prada Galleria is Prada's most iconic bag to date. The bag is also often referred to as the Salfiano Lux, after the leather it is made of. The Prada Galleria was first debuted in 2007, paying homage to the history of Prada's humble beginnings to Galleria Vittorio Emmanuel II where Mario Prada opened his first store in Milan in 1913. A signature of the Prada fashion house, the Galleria is commonly crafted from Prada's iconic Sefiano leather, a house code at the heart of Prada's DNA. The leather, being light and resistant, allows the Galleria bag to maintain its curves. The Prada Galleria is an expertly simple and clean design with minimal branding. The Prada Galleria has a sturdy, structured silhouette shape and the Galleria tote opens up to an interior compartment discreetly lined with the classic Prada Loco Jacquard lining with two large zipped exterior side compartments, a zippered interior pocket and a flat open slot. The Prada Galleria also features double roll top leather handles with links and a detachable and adjustable leather shoulder strap for additional versatility and multi-purpose carrying options in addition to the snap closures on the side to extend the Prada Galleria's capacity. The Prada Galleria bag is also adorned with gold tone hardware elements and Prada's signature triangle applique logo plaque. Furthermore, there is a leather keychain pouch, protective studded feet and leather piping all along the borders which keeps the Galleria holding its shape. The Prada Galleria is available in a few different sizes, including the micro Sefiano Lux, the mini Sefiano Lux, the small Sefiano Lux and the Sefiano Lux Tote, in addition to being available in a plethora of vibrant and juicy colours. Prices of the Prada Galleria Micro starts from upwards of £2,400. The Prada Galleria has an elegant and sophisticated appeal, with a simple aesthetic that is chic yet professional. All your daily essentials, including a laptop. The Galleria is a classic piece that will never go out of style. For an easy go-to bag and a safe investment option in your luxury collection, the Prada Galleria bag is one to consider. And at number 17, we have the Saint Luan Sac de Jour. The Sac de Jour was debuted under creative director E.D. Soleimani in the Fall Winter 2014 collection. Seen on the arms of socialites and celebrities alike, the Sac de Jour bag 
fast became an it bag due to its practical nature and its minimal yet stylish look. The name Sac de Jour translates into bag of the day and is the perfect everyday handbag. It is a signature handbag for the Saint Laurent fashion house and remains one of the most coveted and iconic styles. The Sac de Jour bag features a sturdy structured rectangular shape with double roll topped handles in addition to gusset accordion like sides fixed by threaded straps and snap buttons which are also expandable in order to create more room in the compact but very well organised interior. The Sac de Jour also features a leather tag with a padlock feature. The Sac de Jour is a simple and understated bag that opens up to a nice contrasting suede lining which adds to the luxurious aesthetic and is divided into three compartments by a large zip closed compartment that runs down the middle of the bag in addition to the troves of useful pockets and zipper compartments. The Sac de Jour bag also has several pieces of metal hardware detailing, including metal studs on the base for added protection, the snap closure, locks and zipper pulls that contain the Saint Laurent logo, offered in a gold or silver tone hardware. The Sac de Jour is available in four different sizes, the nano, the baby, the small and the medium. The Sac de Jour is a simple, sleek and sophisticated bag that can easily transform you from a day to evening event, no matter the occasion. The nano size is perfect for fashionistas that don't have much to carry. The baby size is also big enough to carry you through to the evening with a little extra space. The small sac de jour is the ideal everyday bag and perfect accessory for busy women on the go and suitable for professional work environments as well as casual outings. The medium is the largest with an extremely roomy interior that fits everything inside, also perfect for work and travel. The sac de jour bag is commonly crafted from premium 100% calfskin leather or other materials and some options come in a unique finish. The sac de jour is offered in textured leather, grained and pebbled, which is a bit more scratch resistant, and options in smooth leather, soft and buttery leather, and also a crock embossed finish. The additions to offerings in suede with a smooth leather lining and top handles. The sac de jour bag also features multi-purpose carrying options whereby you can switch between either the top handles or the optional detachable flat shoulder strap. The Saint Laurent Sac de Jour bag is a truly elegant and minimalistic bag that does not boast ostentatious labelling, but just a discreet Saint Laurent Paris logo printed in gold foil stamp on the main compartment under the handles. The Saint Laurent Sac de Jour is available in a variety of colours, whether in the traditional black or navy blue, grey, burgundy or beige. The price of the Saint Laurent Sac de Jour varies depending on both the size and raw material of the bag and starts at upwards of £1,570 for the Sac de Jour Nano. The Sac de Jour bag is an edgy, stylish, contemporary and effortlessly cool and is undoubtedly a timeless shape, a seasonless choice and a true classic. And at number 18 we have the Loewe Amazona bag. Originally designed in 1975, marking the new era in Spanish society, the Amazona has been making a statement ever since. The Amazona bag is forever associated with powerful females. Named after the female characters of Greek mythology, the Amazonas, a race of warrior women. The Loewe Amazona bag is a revolutionary bag created at a time of major cultural shift when women were gaining their equality and independence in the workplace. The Amazona was designed to celebrate women's newfound feminine freedom. It was designed to be liberating, embodying and personifying the spirit of the era. The Loewe Amazona bag is a bag that is practical, comfortable and versatile, with enough space to hold everything needed over the course of a working day. The Amazona bag features an understated, minimalist rectangular frame with reinforced corner tabs that are finished with hand-painted curved edges for a luxurious touch. The Amazona bag is crafted commonly in supple Napa calfskin or the signature Loewe Jacquard fabric, which is specially treated, making the bag water repellent and resistant to stains. The Amazona Jacquard anagram is Loewe's emblem of four interlocking L's woven in repeat over and over. The Loewe Amazona bag features double roll top handles, a two-way zip closure mechanism with discrete leather pulls in tonal calfskin and elements of metal hardware, including the square metal feet at the base to provide extra protection. The Loewe Amazona bag opens up to a suede lined main compartment with an interior zip pocket and a wall pocket with snap closure in addition to a fully functional padlock engraved with Loewe's amagram and the inside mini pocket for its keys. Some versions feature a leather name tag in place of the key tag with the lock now gone. 
The Amazona bag also features leather piping and leather reinforced corners finished with Loewe's Made in Spain branding embossed in gold on the inside panel and on the inside of the leather straps. The Loewe Amazona bag is available in numerous colours and shades, including avocado green, black, lagoon blue, lime yellow, mink and warm desert. Loewe has recently added the following sizes, the 16, the 19 square and the Amazona 28, in addition to already having the Amazona 23, 32 and 36. The Amazona bag is the most iconic bag in Loewe's handbag offering, imbuing Loewe's history and heritage and proof of Loewe's everlasting mission to premium quality and craftsmanship. The Loewe Amazona bag is designed for all kinds of occasions, the perfect accompaniment to any outfit that suits all kinds of styles. The Amazona was the first 24-hour bag to combine style and functionality. It speaks on behalf of the brand's everlasting mission of beautiful craft. The Amazona bag is the ultimate investment of premium craftsmanship and timeless sophistication. The Amazona bag will continue to stand the test of time and fashion and keep a stronghold in your wardrobe forever. And at number 19, we have the Givenchy Antigona bag. The Givenchy Antigona bag has been one of the most popular and highly sought after bags from the Givenchy fashion house. The Givenchy Antigona bag was launched in the winter 2010 collection and it instantly took the world by storm. Released under the creative direction of Ricardo Tishi, the Antigona is a perfect example of Givenchy's fashion forward attitude and edgy flair. Tishi's artistic signature is traditionally a play on contrast in femininity with masculine silhouettes in both his accessory and clothing lines. And the Antigona perfectly encapsulates this. The name Antigona was inspired by the powerful Greek mythology heroine Antigon, who was Oedipus' daughter. Antigon means unbending and is significant of her strong, fiery, daring and defiant personality. Antigon endured despite the challenges and tragedies of her life. The Antigona bag perfectly combines the masculine and feminine. The masculine aspects of the traditional Boston bag with its hard, aggressive architectural geometric shape and trapezoidal-like boxy construction offset against the feminine subtle curves and rounded edges of the Antigona, which adds a grace and elegance to the Antigona's bag's aesthetic and appeal. The Antigona bag features double roll-top handles, an exterior triangle Givenchy patch with the Givenchy logo embossed on it and the zipper closure mechanism. The most recent versions of the Antigona bag have the G-Link chain with the, G, with the 4G padlocks said to be inspired by Paris' love locks, juxtaposing the smooth leather against an industrial aesthetic. The Givenchy Antigona bag opens up to a spacious and roomy main compartment, two interior flat pockets and one zippered pocket, perfect for holding all your belongings throughout the day. The Antigona bag now comes with an additional removable shoulder strap, making the Antigona bag a versatile bag and allowing you to carry it in several different ways. The Givenchy Antigona bag is available in a few sizes, the micro, mini, small, medium and large, with the large being discontinued. The small and medium sizes being the best choice and the medium perfect as a weekender bag. The Antigona is commonly crafted and offered in the classic leathers which are the smooth or grain calf goatskin. But Givenchy have also released seasonal leathers like rubberized canvas and new buck suede. In times past, the Antigona has also been offered in exotic leathers including ostrich and crocodile on special requests depending on the season. The price of the Antigona bag starts at upwards of £575 for the micro and £1,380 for the mini. The Givenchy Antigona bag is the perfect accessory that can transition you from day to night, perfect for a simple, understated street style look. The Antigona bag is a robust, sleek and timeless classic, fusing and balancing the equilibrium between soft and strong, masculine and feminine, alluring and confident. Not just a statement piece, it's an ultra stylish investment piece that will see you through for many years. And at number 20, we have the Dior Saddlebag. The Dior Saddlebag was designed and debuted in 1999 on the runway for John Galliano's Spring Summer 2000 collection. Galliano's first bag for Dior was a bag in the shape of a horse saddle. The saddlebag was ubiquitous and quickly propelled into the mainstream. The bag quickly became the most talked about accessory and was seen on the arms of every it girl, both real and fictional, in the mainstream in the late 90s and early 2000s. From Paris Hilton to Carrie Bradshaw, the kidney-shaped classic bag also made pop culture being featured on Sex and the City. The Dior saddlebag is easily recognisable due to its unique shape. It features a short shoulder strap and bold hardware and is worn tight against the arms. Initially, the Dior saddlebag was an instant hit, but only a year later the purse began to fade and fashionistas moved on to the next it bag. But in 2014, Beyonce catapulted the Dior saddlebag firmly back into the global fashion scene and she was spotted wearing a vintage version which was then followed in hot pursuit by many other Hollywood A-listers. 
The rise in popularity and increased demand for vintage versions of the Dior saddlebag was so hard to ignore by the Dior fashion house. And in 2018, the must-have statement bag of the late 90s was revived for Dior under the creative direction of Maria Grazia Turi. It became the centerpiece of the Dior fashion house once again. The modern Dior saddlebag boasts a slightly larger size to accommodate the modern desire of fashionistas to fit more into their bag. The saddlebag also has a magnetic snap closure instead of the Velcro on previous models. Dior also introduced the additional detachable long shoulder strap sold separately, making the saddlebag more versatile with many carrying options. The saddlebag is commonly offered in two versions, the first being a block monochrome colour in buttery leather and the second in the Dior's classic oblique jacquard canvas. The saddlebag has also since been introduced in various other versions from patent leather, monochromatic matte leather to camouflage canvas, satin, denim and even ostrich and python skins. And other options offered feature embellished variations with, pe- with beads and patchwork florals. On the oblique pattern now, the font is smaller and defined and the D accent at the front of the saddle is bolder. The Dior saddle bag opens up to a leather or fabric lined interior depending on the style, to one main compartment and slip pocket. The Dior saddle comes in two sizes, the mini and the medium. Traditionally, the Dior saddle designs come in gold hardware. But in recent years, the hardware of the Dior saddle designs have expanded to incorporate black ultramat and crystal encrusted variations. The prices of the Dior saddle bags start at upwards of 2400 for the Mini. Quite the revival for the Dior saddle bag. However, it's back here to stay and has become a street style staple for a more daring fashionista and is definitely one to consider for your luxury collection. And at number 21, we have the Fendi Baguette. The Fendi Baguette bag most definitely started off as an it bag of the season, but has now become a mainstay and a classic. The iconic bag made its debut in the 1998 Fall Winter Collection, thanks to its mastermind, Sylvia Venturini Fendi. Sylvia was asked to craft an accessory that reflected not only the DNA of the Fendi fashion house, but the spirit of minimalism of society at the time. The end product was anything but minimalistic. Instead, it was flashy, playful and unique, unlike anything else on the market at the time. The Fendi Fashion House was unsure of its size and functionality, but Sylvia wanted to move away from basic designs. So Sylvia stuck to her vision and trusted her instinct. Fendi sparked the rapid consumption of regular bags by introducing the baguette bag in numerous different designs. The baguette bag is a small, compact streamlined bag that comes with a short strap and the famous Fendi logo, easily adapted for different looks. The baguette is available in many different textures, styles and patterns, from floral sequins, shared mink and tribal beads to skins and glittery details and exclusive pieces as well as the limited edition DIY baguette kits. Since the baguette debut, there has been more than 1000 variations. The baguette was initially available in only one size, but with the relaunch of the baguette bag, additional sizes were added. We now have the micro nano size, which is supposed to be a charm for belts and bags. However, it now comes with a chain that allows it to be worn as a crossbody. The mini, which is sold with a stylish leather top handle and a chunky long chain strap attached at the sides. The classic baguette, which can be worn or carried in many different ways due to the longer shoulder strap with some variations also coming with a chain strap version as well as the top handle. The large baguette also comes with a second shoulder strap but no chain version. Two other newer silhouettes include the easy two baguette and the flat baguette. And then there's also the double baguette, inspired by the original baguette as well as the pico version, a dual accessory suitable for carrying AirPod earphones. The prices of the Fendi baguette bag starts at upwards of 1690 for the baguette mini size. Although baguette bags are supposed to be different and unique, they do have the same distinctive feature and signature design elements that can be found on each bag. Every baguette is the same shape. All baguettes have a rectangular silhouette with a short shoulder strap. Also, each baguette has the same interlocking double F hardware logo on the front flap clasp with different variations on the clasp. Sometimes the clasp is left plain or adorned with embellishments. The revival of the iconic bag has ensured it will forever remain a part of the Fendi fashion house. The Fendi baguette is a timeless, iconic, classic piece. 
that will remain in the archive of Fendi iconic bags forever. At number 22, we have the Mulberry Bayswater Bag. Designed by Nicholas Knightley and debuted in 2003, the Bayswater Bag is Mulberry's most famous piece and bestseller since making its debut nearly, nearly two decades ago. The Mulberry Bayswater has always been produced on home soil in Somerset and is an ode to the brand's heritage and the brand's simplicity and classic feminine aesthetic. The Mulberry Bayswater bag's name is taken from an upmarket leafy district of London. The timeless bag is a cross between a Birkin and the English doctor bag, but with its own distinctive style. The Mulberry Bayswater is a practical and spacious bag, supple yet slightly structured, featuring a luxurious suede lining interior. The conventional shape and finish reveal the world-class level quality and craftsmanship. The Mulberry Bayswater was originally released in oak, chocolate and black leather, but is now available in a plethora of colours, patterns and finishes, including precious skins like ostrich and crocodile print leather. The Bayswater has a classic flap with its signature postman mini lock closure mechanism. The Mulberry Bayswater also features long shoulder handles, metal feet and adjustable side straps to give your bag extra room. The base water opens up to a soft brush interior and has one main compartment, one internal zip pocket and two internal slip pockets, with the stamp of the label on the inside of the bag. The base water adds an air of sophistication to any outfit and works especially well for professional women looking for a smart and practical accessory to accompany their smart tailored outfits. While the silhouette of the bag has remained the same over the years, successive creative directors have revamped and reimagined it through material and colour makeovers. However, through Johnny Coker's reworking of the Bayswater, there is now a sleeker and more chic compact version, the zipped Bayswater. This version does away with the heavy metal hardware, the padlock fob and metal feet are gone, and the postman locks plate is smaller. The distinctive tree logo has been replaced with an embossed gold lettering spelling out the Mulberry name. The bag now boasts a more structured silhouette and a reinforced interior lining strong enough to carry laptops and tablets without altering the shape. Coca also introduced fresh new colours alongside the classic burgundy and black with deeper and richer hues too. The original Bayswater bag has a round silhouette and the zipped Bayswater bag has a more squared silhouette. The new Bayswater bag also has extendable wings without the chic luggage tag. The sizes of the Mulberry Bayswater include the mini and the medium size. The size of the zipped Bayswater includes the mini and the small. The prices of the Bayswater bag start at upwards of £725 for the mini size. The prices of the zipped Bayswater start at upwards of £1,195. The Mulberry Bayswater is one of the most desired British luxury bags, the ultimate carry-all for the fascist conscience. At number 23, we have the Celine Classic. Admired for its understated and low-key minimalist allure, Celine prides itself on its discreet nature that exudes a true if you know you know aesthetic. One of the most famous, iconic and timeless pieces that imbues the minimalistic and simplistic Celine house code is the Celine Classic bag. The Celine Classic is an understated star featuring clean lines, a rigid and boxy structured rectangular silhouette commonly crafted from 100% smooth, supple but sturdy calfskin leather. It was originally called the box bag due to the fact that the most common option came in the box calfskin option. A smooth leather that develops a patina over time, leaving an additional lovely glossy sheen. The Celine Classic is the epitome of Celine's authentic, feminine and intricate craftsmanship. The Classic is actually a reinterpretation debuted by Phoebe Philo during her tenure as the creative director of the Celine Fashion House. In 2011, the classic was modified from a 1970s bag from the Celine archive. Most elements of the original bag remained, however, the most significant change was the vintage Celine horse and carriage logo that was replaced to a simplistic, elegant but subtle push class metal buckle on the front in line with her minimalistic artistic flair. The Celine Classic bag is meticulously crafted with a front flap that opens up to a lambskin lined interior and an accordion style structure with the interior also partitioned with soft leather interiors in three different compartments. 
The bag also features a long zipper pocket and a small zipper slot for your essentials and organisation. The Celine Classic features a strap that is both removable and adjustable, making the bag a multi-purpose bag with many carrying possibilities. It can be carried on the shoulder or as a crossbody. The Classic is also adorned with elements of hardware like the front clasp on the centre front, commonly offered in a gold or silver tone hardware, adding to the understated elegance and sophistication of the design, whilst giving the bag a vintage retro charm and aesthetic. The Celine Classic bag comes in a few sizes, including a mini, small, medium and large. Celine's colour palette for the Classic is mostly neutral with subtle pops of colour. The prices of the Celine Classic starts at upwards of £2,350 for the small size. Since its debut, the Classic bag has transcended fads and trends, returning seasonally and remaining a successful, unquestionable, timeless Celine bag. The Classic bag is the perfect sleep bag that works perfectly as a companion bag, transitioning you from day to night as it exudes a true, timeless Parisian appeal. It works for corporate, casual and evening occasions, suited to many different styles. Although it's quiet and simple, the chic Celine Classic catches your eye nonetheless. It does not scream logo or graphic monograms, but simplicity and elegance that embodies this compact design. The Celine Classic bag is a style that will remain in your wardrobe forever. And at number 24, we have the Chloe Saddlebag. Chloe has produced some iconic bags over the years, and one that continues to turn heads is the Marcy Saddlebag. The Chloe Marcy Saddle was launched in 2009 under former creative director Hannah McGibbon. The Chloe Marcy Saddlebag is a classic from the Chloe Fashion House, a fresh feminine bag with soft curved lines exuding a 70s bohemian chic allure. The Chloe Marcy Saddlebag pays tribute to the Maison's equestrian roots with its rounded silhouette and equestrian inspired shape, with the Marcy Saddle flap shaped in a horseshoe. The Chloe Marcy Saddle bag features a single flat shoulder strap with buckle adjustments, perfect for wearing long on the shoulder and as a crossbody. The Chloe Marcy Saddle bag also features small elements of hardware in the gold o-ring that forms part of the closure mechanism and the tassel ends, with hardware offered in a gold, silver or bronze toned hardware. The Marcy Saddle bag also features a drawstring fastening closure tassel dangling at the front flap. The Chloe Marcy saddle opens up to a cotton lined interior, one roomy compartment, a single slip pocket at the underside of the front flap. In addition to a discreet pocket in the interior wall, showcasing plenty of space for all your essentials and belongings. The Chloe Marcy bag features premium leather craftsmanship, as well as visible decorative stitching and the embossed logo lettering detailing of the signature Chloe script engraved on the middle of the front flap. The Chloe Marcy saddle bag is the ideal day companion, perfect as an everyday bag. The Marcy saddle bag is usually crafted in a thick grain calfskin leather and has been designed in many different variations throughout the seasons, including a variation in a sheep Sherlin trim, a nod to its popularity and demand. The Chloe Marcy saddle bag is available in a few different sizes, including the nano, the mini, the small and the medium, and is also available in a range of colours. The prices of the Chloe Marcy saddle bag starts at upwards of £525 for the nano size. The Chloe Marcy saddle bag effortlessly evokes Chloe's brand DNA, a minimalistic bag easy to style with any outfit, a timeless classic from the Chloe fashion house that will fit any wardrobe. And at number 25 we have the Bottega Padded Cassette. The Bottega Veneta Padded Cassette Bag is a Daniel Lee creation that was debuted in 2019. The Padded Cassette Bag is a pleasant twist on Bottega's iconic Intratarato weave, a classic Bottega house code which has been taken and exaggerated on this flat bag to give it a double-faced maxi weave aesthetic with a block quilted look. The exterior is identical to the interior with the skillfully woven broad strips and double-faced weaving technique continuing on the inside. The padded cassette bag is easily distinguished by its voluminous puffy woven leather and gleaming gold triangular buckle on the shoulder strap. A Bottega Veneta touch adds an air of simple luxe to this intricate, almost logoless piece 
except the discreetly engraved logo on the magnetic closure. The Bottega padded cassette bag is available in suede versions and leather versions in the buttery, soft and supple lambskin leather. The padded cassette bag is only available in one size, but with a range of vibrant colours from neutrals to neons. The padded cassette bag features a slightly structured rectangular silhouette and opens up to a compact interior that will still fit all your daily essentials. The padded cassette bag opens up to one compartment and a zippered pocket and comes with an adjustable shoulder strap, making the bag more versatile so you can wear it crossbody, over the shoulder or tuck the straps inside, allowing you to carry the cassette bag as a clutch. The prices of the Bottega Veneta padded cassette bag start to upwards of £2,740. Bottega Veneta perfectly combines craftsmanship and heritage representing Bottega's history with a modern twist. The Bottega signature Intrasato leather has transcended trends and is a timeless piece that complements every occasion. The padded cassette bag is offered adorned with a few elements of gold metal hardware and sometimes offered in a silver hardware in the hardware triangle buckle enclosure, giving the bag an extra understated and quiet luxury feel. The Bottega padded cassette bag is definitely an ideal day bag and still sophisticated enough to take you through to your evening event. Without a doubt, the padded cassette bag exudes an understated elegance with its clean-cut aesthetic and modern allure and will definitely remain a staple in any wardrobe. And at number 26, we have the Neo Classic Bag and the Neo Kegel City Bag. The story of the Balenciaga Neo Bags are rooted in the Balenciaga Motorcycle City Bag. Balenciaga has produced many stunning bags, but the most iconic and attention-grabbing to date has been the Balenciaga City Bag. Designed by Nicolas Jesquier and released in 2000. When released, the bag was an instant hit, quickly defining the fashion of the time for the fashion-forward fashionistas looking for an alternative, edgy street look. The City Bag adorned the arms of A-listers and socialites alike. But when it was first designed, the bag was dismissed by Balenciaga CEOs as it was thought that it did not fit in with the trends at the time. However, Jesquier convinced them to make an initial 25 prototype bags. He then gave them to some of the fashion editors and models like Kate Moss. Kate Moss was enamoured by the bag and was instrumental in making the bag popular through her admiration and the accompanying publicity. The City Bag is a bag with a feminine but edgy touch, a cool bag with a twist. The City Bag features a very slight trapezoidal but more rectangular slouchy silhouette with a motorcycle ready look due to the distressed leather and tassels with aged hardware. A perfect match to accompany your leather jacket and the biker chic look. The Balenciaga City Bag opens up to an interior lined with fabric and interior zip pocket in addition to the front zip pocket. Some versions also have a matching leather framed mirror. The Balenciaga City Bag is also embellished with two whip stitched hand braided leather top handles and bold round studs with mini buckle accents at the bottom corners. The city bag also comes with a crossbody strap making the bag easy to carry and more versatile. Balenciaga no longer produce the city bags with this exact design anymore but have now revamped, updated and reimagined the city bag and are now only produced the neo bags. These are essentially city bags that are more structured and less slouchy. We have the Neo Kagol City Bag and the Neo Classic Bag, with both bags having all the same features and aesthetics as the original. The main difference between the two Neo ranges being the Neo Kagol uses a distressed leather lambskin, just like the original City Bag, and the Neo Classic uses a tougher grained calfskin leather. The Neo Classic does not feature the leather framed mirror. The main difference from the original City Bag is that both new versions have a more trapezoidal shape than rectangular on the original city bag and the neos also have a structured silhouette. The city bags old and new feature elements of either aged silver or gold hardware with some options in the neo classic offering a matte black option. Both neo bags are available in a variety of eye-catching colors and sizes. The neo cagol is available in an extra small and a regular and the Neo Classic is available in a nano, mini, small, regular, medium, large 
And the neoclassic comes in an option of not just grain calfskin, but also crocodile embossed calfskin. The Neo Classic bag starts at upwards of 1350 for the Mini and the Neo Kagol XS starts from upwards of 1650 for the Extra Small. With its edgy appeal and look, the Balenciaga City bag and all its reimagined variations has a non-traditional luxurious allure that will never go out of style but will remain timeless, classic and stylish forever. And at number 27 we have the Loewe Puzzle Bag. The Loewe Puzzle Bag was the first bag designed by Jonathan Anderson for Loewe, debuted at the Men's Spring-Summer 15 collection. Thanks to its unique design, the Puzzle Bag was also released in a smaller version for the Women's Collection shortly after. The Puzzle Bag quickly became a popular, instantly recognisable and iconic handbag in the Loewe fashion house. The Puzzle Bag is a unique bag inspired by a jigsaw concept, featuring a distinctive, innovative cuboid construction put together in a unique fashion. The puzzle bag is like a piece of art with its geometric design and smooth edges, presenting a fun juxtaposition of shapes. The intricate design of the puzzle bag takes artisans nearly nine hours to complete. The precise cutting and joining and sewing determines how the bag is to be folded and takes 542 actions to complete approximately. The Loewe puzzle bag has a slightly boxy shape when filled but its ergonomic origami-like shape allows the puzzle to be folded and completely flattened. The Loewe puzzle bag also features hand-painted edges and a zip closure under the flap, a zip back pocket and elements of polished gold tone hardware. The puzzle bag comes with a rolled leather top handle and an adjustable and detachable strap, making the puzzle a versatile bag that, being, that can be carried in many different ways in hand like a clutch crossbody, messenger shuttle and over the shoulder and possibly a backpack. The puzzle bag opens up to an interior made of textile lining, two roomy pockets and features metal bars at the bottom of the base and the embossed signature Loewe anagram logo in the bottom corner. The Loewe puzzle bag is commonly crafted from soft and supple materials including calfskin leather, goatskin, soft suede with contrasting leather trims which defines, which defines the asymmetric pattern on the exterior. The Loewe Puzzle Bag is available in a plethora of colours and hues in block, bicolour, tricolour and multicolour combinations. The Loewe Puzzle Bag is produced in a few sizes in the Nano, Mini, Small, Medium and Large and also goes up to an extra large size for the men's version. On the Mini version there is a fixed length strap and on the Mini and larger sizes the strap is thicker than the ones on the Small and the Mini. The Medium Bag also has feet at the bottom while the small sizes don't. In addition, there is a D-ring on the medium version that allows you to wear the puzzle bag like a backpack. Prices of the Loewe puzzle bag starts at upwards of £1,000 for the nano size. The Loewe puzzle bag is distinct in its dramatic architectural, structural shape and design, yet still a minimalistic luxury bag. The puzzle bag is a one-of-a-kind of rare piece that will stand out in any collection. Transcending seasons, it is definitely here to stay. And at number 28, we have the Moina Rajan bag. The new Rajan design is a tribute to Pauline Moina herself and the rebirth of the renowned Rajan bag that was first launched in 1903, inspired by and named after her good friend Gabrielle Rajan. Pauline Moina was the first female trunk maker in history. Not only did she make specially shaped trunks to fit the contours of automobiles, she was also the first trunk maker to produce women's handbags. Pauline Moynat created the Rajan bag in Gabrielle's honour and it was one of the first bags to pay homage to a celebrity still available today. Rajan was a belle époque actress and a woman of character, allure and charm. Ramesh Nair is today credited with inventing the new Rajan bag. The latest Rajan's shapes and designs are praised for its brilliant craftsmanship, reinvented as a structured city bag with a patented locking system. The Rajan perfectly blends its structured boxy silhouette with sensual clean lines and feminine curves, reminiscent of the delicate curves of Monash trunks of the past. It also features an iconic clasp. The lock clasp mechanism fastener is like a little jewel-like seal, delicate and feminine, similar to one of the first fasteners patented by Monash, featured on its very first bag suitcases. The rounded bijou closure is a re-edition of a patented lock mechanism model of the Art Deco period. Nayeri reworked it, turning the clasp upside down, reinventing the Rajan with a piece of Moinas' own history. 
The Rajan also features an accompanying and adjustable strap that makes the Rajan a versatile bag. The Rajan is available in a variety of fabrics and leather options, including Tourillon Jex, a hardy pebbled leather, box leather, a lustrous, shiny and smooth leather, carrot calf, similar to the Tourillon Jex but with a much finer grain, the natural calf like the box leather but less shiny, in addition to a range of natural and exotic precious skins like crocodile. The Moina Rajan bag is available in a vast array of block colours, in addition to bicoloured and tricolour combinations seasonally. The Moina Rajan bag is a regal looking bag radiating grace, elegance and excellence, crafted with care and precision and handled with such grace by a single artisan from start to finish. The Moina Rajan bag opens up to a roomy interior with a wide base and interior zip pocket and also comes with a clochette. The Rajan is also finished with shiny hardware elements, including the clasp and protective feet all round. The Rajan is available in a range of sizes, including the Nano, the BB Mini, the PM and the Rajan MM regular model, in addition to the recently added size 23, measured by the Bates width, that sits in between the BB and the PM size. The Rajan 23 also has a variation known as the Rajan Duet, which gives a pop of colour contrast in unexpected places on the Rajan bag, under the handle, the base of the bag, upside of the flap or over the straps. Prices of the Moina Rajan bag starts at upwards of £1,970 for the nano size. With the Rajan bag, Moina has managed to seamlessly combine innovative techniques with their take on old world craftsmanship. The Moina Rajan bag embodies Moina's exceptional savoir faire and luxury synonymous with Moina, an excellently crafted, timeless bag to add to your wardrobe. And at number 29, we have the Hermes Bolid bag. The Hermes Bolid is one of the most revolutionary handbags ever made. The bag has stood through almost 100 years in fashion and is still going strong. The history of the Hermes Bolid bag is linked to Henry Ford, founder of Ford Motors, who showed Emile Maurice Hermes a new technology at one of his factories. The use of a zipper to fasten a cloth to the rooftop Ford convertible calves. Emile Maurice Hermes used this new invention to revolutionise luxury handbags as we knew it. Hermes patented the zip closure mechanism in France and soon after Hermes added a zipper to the middle of their bag designs creating the Bolide in 1923. The Bolide was the first Hermes bag made with a zip and the first bag in history made with a zipper. The word Bolide originally meant meteor or comet and then in the 20th century it was turned into a nickname for sports or fast cars going full speed on the road. Initially the Bolide was named the Le Sac pour la Auto or the bag for the car before it became the Bolide. Originally designed for storing your valuables during travel was to easily be placed in the trunk of a car. It wasn't until 1982 that a smaller version was debuted in the handbag size. The Bolide is a minimalistic, graceful and understated classic bag with a very spacious interior. The Hermes Bolide bag has a trapezoidal shape and is equipped with long, curved handles, a removable leather shoulder strap and a padlock and zipper with a clochette. The exterior gorgeously features the signature lovely Hermes stitching saddle pattern too. The Hermes Bolide bag comes in quite a few sizes, the largest at 45cm, then we have the 35 centimeters, the 31 centimeters, the 30 centimeter, the most recent 27 centimeter, and the rare 20 centimeter. The most common size purchase are the 27 centimeters and the 31 centimeters, in addition to the 30 centimeter. The 45 centimeter bag is used more for travel as a weekender bag than an everyday bag and is often used by men. The rare 20 centimeter bullet bag is very difficult to find and is a super hot style. Like other Hermes bags, there are various styles in the Bolid. It comes in two different styles, the Mew and the Rigide. The Mew is a soft leather which gives the bag a more casual look. The Rigide is hard and makes it a sturdy bag and a good option as a workhorse bag. Depending on the style, there are two further distinctions. One is the Web Bolid, which has an external pocket, no oval patch and a two-way zip closure, and the other version is just the Bolid which has a single zip closure, an oval patch and an extra long strap. 
The oval leather part is especially made for your initials. The bolide also comes in Sikkim leather for the Mew and is available in either Epson and Clements leather for the Rajid. Hermes also create limited edition pieces. The bolide is a versatile bag suitable for everyday use and travel. Prices for the Hermes bolide bag start at upwards of £4,000 for the bolide mini bag. The Hermes bolide bag represents an essential piece of fashion history with the power to make any outfit look exclusive and expensive. The elegant design is key for fashionistas that are not loud over the top. The chic and luxurious bag is a fantastic choice to add to any luxurious wardrobe. And at number 30 we have the Gucci Jackie bag. The Gucci Jackie bag was debuted in the 1950s. Originally called the 50s Constance, it was a functional and chic bag with all the markings of a classic. However, it did not reach the it bag status. But with a little help and push from former first lady Jackie Kennedy Onassis, the bag took on a new identity. Jackie Kennedy Onassis attracted the hearts of many around the globe with her elegant style and was considered one of the most poised and dignified women in the world. The bag definitely received Jackie's seal of approval and became synonymous with her style and elegance, effortless look and sophisticated fashion. The popularity of the bag rose shortly after, solidifying the Gucci Jackie bag's place in history as a style and silhouette that has become a mainstay in Gucci's archive of iconic bags. The Gucci Jackie bag was a new silhouette that encapsulated the era of the free spirit bohemian style of the 60s and 70s. Its main inspiration was the bags used by homeless people and wanderers. The name and model refer to the knapsack made from a handkerchief and a stick that was used to carry their belongings. Originally designed as a unisex bag, it grew to be a favourite ladies bag. The Gucci Jackie is characterised by its half moon crescent shape, short buckled strap and by the snap hook push lock closure, also known as piston. The Jackie bag fell out of favour for many years after the passing of Jackie Kennedy but was later reimagined and revitalised with every new creative director. It was revitalised in 1999 by Tom Ford, who replaced the classic piston lock and created slightly harsher lines. It was revived in 2009 by Farida Giannini, who called hers the new Jackie and also introduced the soft Jackie in 2014, a simplified and sleeker version of the Jackie. And again in 2019, Alessandro Michele reintroduced the Jackie in his Chateau Marmont collection in 2019, but it was the full winter 2020 collection that was more significant. The latest revitalization, called the Jackie 1961, is a more rigid and compact silhouette and is crafted in a sleek, rich, smooth leather finish, retaining its curved shape and iconic golden clasp, with 1961 being the actual year of the Jackie's success. The Gucci Jackie 1961 is available in various colours, from primary colours to pastel colours, as well as the iconic Gucci Supreme Beige and Ebony, with the brown leather finish and is also offered in exotic skins like Python and Ostrich. The Gucci Jackie 1961 is available in various sizes, starting from a small, mini and medium, with the Gucci 1961 medium bag being the perfect everyday companion. The Gucci Jackie 1961 comes with a detachable and adjustable shoulder strap, making the bag a scent extremely versatile so it can be worn several ways. In addition, the Jackie 1961 bag features the signature gold tone metal piston buckle closure clasp reminiscent of the original. The gold piston clasp is the sole piece of hardware on the Jackie bag, giving it a minimalistic and sophisticated aesthetic. The interior of the Jackie bag is lined with a suede-like microfiber fabric and opens up to one compartment with an open pocket and a zipper pocket. Prices of the Gucci Jackie 1961 bag start at upwards of £1,770 for the Mini. The Gucci Jackie 1961 is a practical and functional genderless no-thrills bag that is both utilitarian yet effortlessly bohemian and chic. Keeping strong similarities to the original model, the Gucci Jackie 1961 bag encapsulates the 1960s high fashion whilst retaining its spirit of maternity. The elegance of Jackie Kennedy had a great influence of the fashion of those years and it is still here today. The Gucci Jackie 1961 has proved itself as an elegant evergreen fashion accessory, blending the past and the future into one distinctive unisex allure. And at number 31 we have the Chanel Boy Bag. The Chanel Boy Bag was debuted in Chanel's Full Winter collection in 2011. 
and has fast become an iconic bag of the Chanel fashion house and a mainstay in Chanel's handbag selection that has been offered every season since its release. The Chanel boy bag pays homage to the love of Gabrielle Coco Chanel's life, Arthur Boy Capel, who was an English polo player and aristocrat, in addition to being Coco Chanel's muse and greatest love. Arthur Boy Capel inspired Gabrielle Coco Chanel's tendencies to play with the masculine accent in her style and subsequently inspired the late Karl Lagerfeld. The Chanel boy bag was the first complete redesign of the classic flap. While still honouring many of Coco Chanel's original 255 house codes, the boy bag introduced some more modern updates. The inception of the boy bag started in 2010 when the late Karl Lagerfeld delved into the Chanel archive and came across a bandolier and cartridge bag used for storing ammunition during a hunt. However, Coco Chanel had repurposed the bag for her equestrian trips, using the bag as a purse. Karl Lagerfeld used this as the inspiration for the boy bag and added his signature decadent flair through the use of heavy hardware along with various fabrics and enhancements. Over the years, the Chanel boy bag has been introduced in several sizes, from a mini, small, there was the old medium, the new medium, a large and the XL. With the new medium introduced in 2014, making the boy bag roomier than the old medium and allowing for more organisation of your belongings with two new interior pockets and extra storage space. The medium size tends to be the more popular as you get the best of both worlds, a little more space and convenient enough to carry daily. The Chanel boy bag is available in many versions and variations of leather, materials and hardware. Leathers commonly used are the caviar leather and the lambskin leather. Caviar leather having a textured surface which makes it a more hard wearing leather and the lambskin leather has a more luxurious look and softer feel. Luxurious textiles used include tweed, canvas, PVC, denim, in addition to special editions like the So Black rendition and the iridescent Chanel boy bag offering. The Chanel boy bag is also available in a vast and wide array of colours, from block colours to bicolour and tricolour offerings. The Chanel boy bag features straight and clean lines with a boxier structure and angular corners and is easily identified by its thick rectangular main body pattern framed by a raised leather ribbon straight edge contrasting the central body of the bag. The Chanel boy bag is usually offered in the classic Chanel diamond quilting in addition to the chevron quilting on the body of the bag and there is also the sleek reverso quilting which consists of an unquilted body and a quilted frame. Another distinguishable characteristic of the Chanel boy bag is its clasp lock closure bearing the iconic prominent large CC squeeze lock brick lock on the front flap giving the bag a more industrial look. The hardware of the Chanel boy bag appears more antiqued in comparison to the dainty jewellery look of the Chanel classic flap bags and is available in various tones of silver, gold, gunmetal, antiqued and oxidised finishes but more options are available like in the matte black or the Ruthenium offering. The Chanel boy bag also features a shoulder strap composed of thick metal chains, referred to as the bijou chain, due to its wider and heavier links, instead of the signature interwoven straps on other Chanel bags. Some variations of the boy bag are complemented by options of an adjustable short leather strap for comfortability and other variations come with a short chain top handle so you can also carry it by hand. The Chanel boy bag is a single flap bag, unlike other Chanel bags that open up to a fabric lined interior and a hidden zipper compartment under the top flap, rumoured to be symbolic of the secret pocket Coco Chanel incorporated into her bag to hide her secret love letters. In addition to the slip pocket on the rear side of the bag, the prices of the Chanel boy bag started upwards of £4,000 for the small size. The Chanel boy bag is a highly desired bag amongst fashionistas for its utilitarian feel, more masculine shape, bolder, edgier and versatile design, a departure from the more classic and feminine Chanel handbag styles. The Chanel boy bag strikes the balance between fashion and functionality, the quintessential Parisian accessory, definitely a youthful and timeless piece to consider for your luxury collection. And at number 32, we have the Saint Laurent Lulu bag. The Saint Laurent Lulu bag is one of the most sought after bags from the Saint Laurent fashion house. Debuted in early 2017 by Anthony Vaccarello. The Lulu bag was named as a tribute 
paying homage to the late Lulu de la Falaise, a muse and close collaborator of Yves Saint Laurent for over 30 years. She had an eccentric but elegant style and the influence that her style had on Yves Saint Laurent is irrefutable. Lulu designed jewellery and accessory for the Saint Laurent fashion house for decades. Lulu also inspired numerous Saint Laurent women's wear design and purportedly the women's tuxedo. The Saint Laurent Lulu bag is the perfect bag for the modern woman. The Lulu bag features a soft but slightly boxy structure. A feminine bag with a slightly edgy and androgynous rock and roll feel to it. One of the most beautiful and distinguishing features of the Lulu bag is the smooth and supple wide padded quilted leather chevron finish. A result of the soft matte lace calfskin leather that gives the bag more volume and glamour with a shiny finish. Despite its softness, it is a durable, tough bag. The Saint Laurent Lulu bag also features an adjustable leather padded and metal chain shoulder strap, giving you more carrying options, allowing you to comfortably wear the bag over your shoulder or as a crossbody. The Lulu bag is adorned with the signature emblematic interlocking YSL initial monogram on the front flap, creating a bold and classic luxurious aesthetic. The Lulu bag features a magnetic snap closure on the front flap that opens up to a gross grain cotton lined interior consisting of two compartments which are divided by a middle zip pocket compartment bound by leather. The front compartment is slightly bigger than the back one. The back compartment also features a zipper pocket the entire length of the bag at the back. The Saint Laurent Lulu bag is a spacious bag that comes in various sizes including the toy, small, medium and large. The Lulu is also available in an array of colours, materials and leathers, with the most common leathers offered being the quilted matte lace calfskin, patent leather, quilted suede and quilted metallic calfskin leather. The Lulu bag features many metal elements offered in either a silver tone or gold tone metal hardware, with some options available in a matte black hardware and the metal rope hardware usually matching the logo. This does not include the Saint Laurent version of the Puffer Lulu, which was added to the Lulu range in 2019. Often referred to as the Saint Laurent Puffer Bag, with the flap closure and leather chain strap, except for the fact that it's made from lambskin leather and has a puffer jacket inspired Y quilting. The Puffer Lulu comes in three sizes and usually has the same price tag as the original Lulu. And there is also the smaller crossbody version of the Lulu bag, referred to as the Lulu Toy Shoulder Bag. The Toy Lulu has an adjustable and removable full leather shoulder strap instead of a leather and chain strap. The prices of the Saint Laurent Lulu bag starts at upwards of £1,225 for the Saint Laurent Lulu toy size. The Saint Laurent Lulu bag is a practical but gorgeous and sophisticated bag. A versatile bag that can definitely be dressed up or down for any occasion. The perfect bag that will transition you from a day to night event. The Saint Laurent Lulu bag has the quintessential YSL elegance, a classy and timeless bag with a touch of bohemian flair. And at number 33, we have the Dior 30 Montaigne bag. The 30 Montaigne bag is a special bag named after and paying homage to the Dior Maison's address in Paris, 30 Avenue Montaigne, the beating heart of the Dior fashion house, where Monsieur Dior first presented his works, dating back to 1946 47, a few months before the new look revolution. For the superstitious Monsieur Dior, it was love at first sight, and Monsieur Dior was determined to call the appealing townhouse his. Debuted under creative director Maria Grazia Turi, the 30 Montaigne bag was released in 2019. The 30 Montaigne bag features a box-shaped sturdy structure with very gentle curved edges on the base that is smooth and streamlined. The 30 Montaigne bag is crafted from a mixture of leathers, the sturdy box calfskin leather and the supple calfskin, with offerings also in the emblematic Dior oblique canvas, which is punctuated with leather trimmings. All versions of the 30 Montaigne bag feature a clasp fastener mechanism, with the Christian Dior initials in a graphic logo take, but with a more high-end allure on the wide front flap. The Dior 30 Montaigne bag opens up to a silk and lambskin lining with a main compartment, one zip compartment, two internal pockets and a slip pocket on the back wall, showcasing a contemporary design with a cool touch on the exterior 
featuring a large embossing in the smooth calfskin leather that reads 30 Montaigne. A discreet show of the monochromatic work in the same leather. Ideal for storing notes and receipts without having to open the main compartment. The Dior 30 Montaigne bag can be worn over your shoulder or converted to a crossbody or even carried by hand thanks to its versatile adjustable and removable leather strap. The 30 Montaigne bag is available in many block colours from jet black to mahogany and a deep powdery green. The sizes of the Dior Montaigne bag includes a micro and a regular and some options of the Dior Montaigne bag also come with a top handle and in a maxi canage stitching. The prices of the Dior Montaigne bag starts at upwards of £1,900 for the micro. The Dior 30 Montaigne bag is a transitional bag that works for both day and night events, work or play. The Dior 30 Montaigne bag is such a classic and elegant bag and owning it would be to possess a part of Dior's history. Ideal for those who want a vintage inspiring bag that is still contemporary. The Dior 30 Montaigne bag is a practical bag with a clean, clear-cut aesthetic incorporating the understated elegance of old Paris in a modern way and is definitely a seasonless investment piece. And at number 34 we have the Celine 16 bag. The Celine 16 bag was debuted in 2018. The first handbag offering under the creative direction of Edie Suleimani. The Celine 16 is a 60s inspired design that comes with a top handle and a cropped flap. First spotted on the arms of Lady Gaga, the Celine 16 bag is named after the location of Celine's headquarters at the Maison's Paris address at 16 Rue Vivienne in the second arrondissement of Paris. The Celine 16 bag took over six months to craft, tested with over 100 leathers to reach the final design. The story goes that Edi Silamani actually designed the bag on his first day at Celine to recapture Celine's 60s detail. The Celine 16 is a graphic and sturdy structure bag with gusset style sides and a gently rounded silhouette in addition to a smart curved fold in a v-shape on the crocked flap and belted accent. The Celine 16 also features a buckle turn lock clasp like a jewel metal hardware and other elements of hardware including the lock and key offered in either a silver or gold turn hardware all over. The padlock dangling from the bag can be used to fasten the zipper on one of the inside compartments too. The Celine 16 is available in three sizes, a small, medium and large, and is crafted and offered in many leathers and precious skins. From natural calf skin, grained calf skin, satinated calf skin, which has a beautiful premium aesthetic, to crocodile and lizard skins available on request. The Celine 16 is also available in a range of dark colours. Prices of the Celine 16 range start from upwards of £2,650 for the small. The Celine 16 opens up to a spacious and roomy leather lined interior with two internal pockets and a central zipped pocket plus a flat pocket in addition to an outer flat pocket on the front under the flap to store all your essentials. The Celine 16 bag also comes with a removable leather strap making the Celine 16 a versatile bag with multi-purpose carrying options. The Celine 16 is an elegant and refined stylish and versatile bag that can accentuate any outfit from formal wear to casual wear. The Celine 16 is a strikingly feminine bag, the epitome of a vintage retro style. The Celine 16 bag is perfect as an everyday bag. The Celine 16 bag has a sleek and minimalistic aesthetic that exudes all of Celine's historic codes imbuing Parisian style and classicism expected from the Celine fashion house. And at number 35, we have the Hermes Evelyn bag. The Hermes Evelyn bag is one of Hermes's most popular crossbody style bags with a saddle-like silhouette. Originally designed by Evelyn Bertrand, in 1978, she was the head of Hermes's riding department. Evelyn and her team developed a new design for a bag that would be convenient and hands-free for horse groomers to carry their equestrian tools. Evelyn settled on a design for a crossbody bag that featured one removable, non-adjustable shoulder strap attached to a simple leather body with a small belt closure that snaps into place to secure its contents. The defining feature of this design was the air hole ventilation feature in the style of a H-shaped holes designed on one side of the bag, allowing for the equestrian care tools to dry out whilst in the bag. The 
Evelyn bag was actually designed to be worn with the perforated H side facing the body. But since the bag moved from stable equipment to a luxury everyday bag, the H side is worn facing outwards. The Hermes Evelyn bag was originally relegated to equestrian goods until the early to mid 2000s when the bag was mysteriously moved to the leather goods department and the Hermes Evelyn's popularity rose. Since its introduction, there has been three versions of the Evelyn. The Evelyn 1, the Evelyn 2 and the Evelyn 3. Each new generation is replaced by its predecessor and no new bag in the previous generation is produced when the next generation is introduced. The first Evelyn does not have an external rear pocket like the current versions. The rear pocket was created on the second Evelyn, but only on the smallest model, and the most recent Evelyn features a, po a rear pocket on every size with an adjustable canvas shoulder strap. The Hermes Evelyn bag is a fuss-free, simple bag with just a stud button leather tab as its closure, making it perfect for days when you have to run errands. With each generation, the design of the Hermes Evelyn has stayed true to the bag's iconic shape and perforated leather H on the front. The Evelyn bag's signature H usually has 63 holes, 40 for the oval and 9 for each arm of the H and 5 across the H's middle with the perforations raw and finished edged evenly spaced and sized. The Hermes Evelyn is usually available in the Epson or Clements leather and the Hermes Evelyn bag is also offered in canvas and vibrato leather. Regardless of what leather is being used, the interior of the Hermes Evelyn bag is always raw. Some options also features a removable strap made from canvas with a leather trim that matches the colours of the bag. The Hermes Evelyn bag comes in a variety of primary, standard and vibrant colours. From your classic back to your bright greens, you can find a colour to suit you. The third generation Evelyn comes in four sizes, the mini TPM, the medium TM, the large GM and the extra large TGM size, which stands for Tres Petit Model, Petit Model, the Grand Model and the Tres Grand Model. With the Hermes Evelyn Mini TPM discontinued in 2019. In 2016, Hermes debuted the Evelyn Cellier with the classic style reduced to its essential silhouette. This version also features an Hermes Cellier mark on the outside of the bag and the giant perforated H is removed and replaced with an embossed H enclosed within a diamond shape. The Cellier construction also features edges turned out to create a geometric and starkly structured finish. The Hermes Cellier comes in a 29cm PM and a 33cm GM. The starting prices for the PM retails for upwards of £2,070. The Hermes Evelyn is a favourite entry-level Hermes accessory bag, the perfect first purchase when delving into the world of Hermes, an investment piece that will sure last a lifetime.